Hi everyone and welcome back to Letty Sparkle. Um, I'm Letty and in today's video I'm just going to be doing kind of my, giving like a step to step of how I get like, or how I achieve a flawless base. So this is a sort of um, makeup I would use if I was going to a wedding or if I was doing something like an event, special occasion, that sort of thing. So it is quite full coverage. It is pretty full on, but this is what I would do if I was doing um, something like that. So I thought I would just share my um, steps with you. So I'm just going to get my hair out of the way. I'm sorry, I will get some other hairbands, I promise. It's just to get all these hairs out of the way. So, first of all, I'm going to start with a primer. I'm using my current usual one, which is the Avant, Avant uh, Pro Perfecting Collagen Primer. Um, I'm just going to dab a little bit on my hand, which is quite a bit actually. And then just put it everywhere. So it's very liquidy, but it gets absorbed to the skin really, really quickly. That's pretty much absorbed into the skin. I'm going to go with a little bit of the Smashbox. And this is the Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. I'm just going to use that a bit on my T-zone. Just because I've got a little bit of texture here, so I just want to kind of cover all that up. And then I'm going to go in with a bit of colour correcting. I'm using the NYX Full Coverage um, Concealer. This is in this shade, which is like an orange shade, which is literally called orange. Like a foundation brush like this. And I'm just going to put that in, just kind of scrolling it around. I'm just going to go around all my darker areas. Which is just like around my chin. My moustache area. So I'll just do this so I bring you in a bit closer. And just a little bit just to brighten the under eye. Okay, I've probably used a bit too much, but we'll see. <laughs> At the moment, I'm loving the Born This Way foundation in the shade Sand. And I really like this. I'm using a damp beauty sponge. I have cleaned it. It doesn't look clean, but it has been cleaned. I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand. And then I'm just going to apply that. And pat that in. So with foundation, if you want it to be like full, full coverage, patting it in like this and not swiping it is the best way to achieve that full coverage that you want. I'm just going to pat it all in. Make sure you blend it into your hairline as well, especially if you've got like a, your hair up. And then here I do swipe it down my neck just so that it's all blended nicely. And obviously your ears as well, especially if again you are, I wouldn't advise it to any of your earrings, but okay, that's okay. I'm gonna go in now with the concealer. So I'm gonna be using the again Born This Way. This is multi-purpose, multi-use Cobbton concealer. I have it in shade light beige, so I quite like it to highlight with. And it's a doe for applicator, this one, so. I'm gonna take it everywhere that I kind of want to highlight. I'm 
I'm just going to take it up here. And again, I'm just patting it across. I'm just going to go over my eyelids as well. There's plenty of product, so who can do that? And then this one. I also wanted to apologise for the quality of my last two videos. My goodness, I had trouble filming. And then I have already filmed this once before, but I stupidly deleted it by mistake. I was exporting the photos from my camera to my phone wirelessly, and they came up with four like blurry shots. So I assumed they were just shots that I didn't focus on. So I just delete them, but it turns out it was the videos because you can't export them, you have to do it a different way. So yeah, I was very gutted. So that's a base done. So let me zoom you in. So like it doesn't look like cakey or anything. I mean, it's full coverage and you can see that it's not my skin, but you know, it's not horrendously bad. Um, I'm just gonna set it because it's very, very shiny right now. I'm just gonna set it for you and you can see that. I'm just gonna zoom you in a little bit. So I'd set it, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder. So when you set your powder under your eye especially, I will bake again today as well, just because I wanna, um, it to last long uh, so you just make sure there's all the greases under your eyes are blended out nicely so I'm just going to tip it upside down and then just go in with a damp beauty blender or damp beauty sponge and just go in Hang on. like so Okay, well that's baking, I'm just going to go in and do my contouring. So I'm going to do a bit of cream contour. Um, I've got this Pro Revolution Pro concealer kit. And I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is the darkest shade. I'm just going to go in with this sort of brush. like this so what I do I suck my cheeks in like this and then I kind of follow the natural line like so it's very prominent I will blend all this out don't worry <laughs> and a little bit here Then a little bit on your jawline as well, just to kind of. Just to make your face appear. And then a little bit here. Just to kind of give you a bit of shape. Uh, shape. So. Um, so my bits come off a little bit on this side because um, I had to um, take off my contact and wash it. So I'm just going to apply some more. So I don't know if this is because I had to get it wet, so I don't know if it's going to turn out right. Right, so I've done the contouring. And then I'm just going to sharpen that line a little bit. So just do that. So this is a step again, I do not do this on a daily basis. It's only really when I want 
that kind of chiseled all day kind of fresh look so you know this is very this is for one of those days that you want a full coverage like a full coverage base and you're feeling it so that's that for now i'm just going to leave that for a minute while that's baking i'm going to quickly do something to my eyes and my eyebrows so that's all done i'm just going to shake off all this bake off angled brush So my next step would normally be bronzer. So if you can see the contour is pretty there. So I'm just going to bronze it up to kind of bring the whole look together. So for bronzer today, I'm going to be using the Benefit Hula bronzer. This is a um, mini size. Super cute. Um, so this is what it looks like in the packaging and it's got the hula embossed name there it doesn't smell of anything they're um california blush that smells lush so bronze i'm going to use kind of a big like a, <clears throat> a fluffy brush like this it's going to kind of go in the pan cover the brush and then Again, I do this to my face. Although I'm not contouring, I kind of want to keep it to that sort of area. I kind of also bring it a little bit up to my cheeks as well. Because that's where the sun would normally hit. And then I blend a little bit up here. I'm going to bring it down like a three. Basically do this. Okay. And then lastly, I'm going to put some blush on. Not, not lastly. But for blush, I was going to do liquid highlighter and I've just forgotten. For blush, um, I want something peachy. I've got like pinky eyes, I suppose I could use... This is Gold Rush by Benefit. And this is what it looks like. So it's kind of like a movie kind of pinky kind of colour. And I'm gonna go in with like a smaller denser brush like this with Surreal Techniques and 300, like Bold 300. It smells nice. It smells really nice actually. I need a smile. And just pop it in the apples of your cheeks and this one has a little bit of a sheen to it you can't really tell to be fair kind of just like really digging it in there and the pigment isn't mm, i think that's too i've actually got oh maybe this one no that's too I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Sin um, Afterglow palette, and I'm gonna go in with a bit of Kiss Off, which is this colour here. It's very pink. Um, on the same like brush, oh, I like that a bit better because it kind of goes with the eyes. And I kind of put it on my upper my cheeks and I drag it up to like to meet my contour and my bronzer and everything so it kind of all matches. I'm going to put a little bit on my nose. And then with that same bronzing brush I'm just going to kind of blend all that in. I might even go in with a bit more. Let's have a look. I think that's actually okay. Perfect. And then for a highlighter, I might try. I'm going to go in with the Sleek. Uh, this is the Sleek um, highlighting palette in Solsist. Oh, it's broken. Oh, I must have fallen. So it's like broken. 
I'm gonna go in with this one here, with the white one here. Do not, I need to buy again. I need to buy or repurchase the Ofra Cosmetics. I might go in with a little bit of the pink as well. Whoa, that's, that's, yeah. <laughs> Oh wow, that's like really there. Sorry, my hair is like in the way. A little bit my tip of my nose. The middle of my nose. A little bit on my cupid's bow. And a little bit on my cheek. On my chin, not cheek. And again, with that same bronzing brush, I'm just going to kind of blend that all in. Oh, that looks really nice. It's got like a pinky kind of hue to it on the highlighter, so it kind of brings the whole look together. So I'm just going to quickly finish off my eyes and put some lips on, um, and I'll be right back. So everyone, this is the final finished look. So my face is all done. I've just got to spray it with some MAC Fix Plus. Um, let me just do that. So yeah, this is the final look. I'm just gonna bring a bit closer to show you. So this is the face. So it is quite full on and it is very, very full coverage. But I really like it. And I actually really like this for contouring. I've never used it before for contouring. See, I've never used this for contouring. This is the um, Pro Re Revolution Pro Conceal Kit. Very, very good. This is light to medium, but that darkest shade for my contouring at the moment is really, really good. I really like it. Um, so that's how it kind of all looks. So I use the Huda Beauty. So on my eyes. It's a very simple look, nothing too fancy. So I just did so yeah, I just used the Huda Beauty Mauve, uh, Mauve Obsessions palette um, and I just basically used this little brown shade along the crease, then I went on to this pink one and then I used a little bit of this one, a little bit of this one in the middle. For my lipstick today, I thought I normally do um, nude and I was going to go for a nude and I thought no, let's be different. So I used, I've bought this ages ago and I've not used it yet, so I've, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, Madison liquid lipstick. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, this is um, really beautiful. Applies on really nicely, and there's no stickiness. I'm pretty much transferred. The only bit that's come across very, very slightly is the bit around my mouth where the foundation's touching, but very easy to apply. Actually, the dofa is really, really nice, kind of a flat one, like a flat dofa, if you know what I mean. But it's really, really nice, easy to apply, easy to get like the cupid's bow and everything done. Really like this. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and I hope you enjoyed this, the the tutor tutorial um, on how you achieve a flawless base. So I would normally go in now with a setting spray. I normally use the Urban Decay. If I was so, if I was going out. I would set it with this now. I do the Max Fix Plus to kind of blend everything together and I go in with this one, which is the Umber Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is amazing. This will make your makeup last all night. I love it. I'm pretty much out, which is why I'm not doing it. And I'm gonna go and have a bath and take all this off in a minute anyway. That's why I've not done it. But yes, I do really, let's just sort this bit out. Um... So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it, my hair's a bit flat, it's so hot at the moment in England, uh, which I'm not complaining about, I'm just saying that it's hot, and with this sort of, I thought this would be better for the summer, but where it is, it's like literally all in my neck, and it's just like so hot, so I have to keep wearing it up and stuff, so yeah, anyway, 
good off subject so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a huge big thumbs up um if you've got any suggestions on any videos you want me to try and do or any products you want me to try then please comment down below and uh, i always reply to all my comments i don't get many so it's easy to keep up and if you did like this video then please subscribe to my channel for future videos and hit that notification bell as well and i'll see you in my next one thank you bye bye Mwah.